Just days after the world marked 50 years since the Apollo moon landing, India has launched a historic mission of its very own. The country is hoping that its spaceship will be the first to land on the south pole of the lunar surface. If so, India would join the handful of countries that have been to the moon, as Regina Vardianathan reports. Into the skies and off to the moon. On a small island by the Bay of Bengal, India's space dreams soared to new heights. The unmanned lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2, was launched successfully. There was relief at the control center and across the country. I'm really happy that India is launching uh, Chandrayaan-2 and I'm proud to be an Indian. It is a huge opportunity for India to take, uh, to take place amongst the great countries that are leading in astronomy, like Re US, Russia, China. This mission's aiming to become the first to land on the unexplored lunar south pole, where it will search for water and collect more data about the moon. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi says he hopes this launch will encourage more young people to take an interest in scientific research and innovation. There's huge excitement here, but some question whether India should invest in the space race while millions live in poverty. But others point out that the budget for the current moon mission is far less than that of many Hollywood blockbusters. India is hoping to send someone into space by the year 2022. But for now, it's celebrating its latest blockbuster moment. Regini Vardianathan, BBC News, Delhi. India's off to the moon. And remember, you can find much more on all the day's news at our website. Plus, to see what we're working on at any time, do check us out on Twitter.